Well, welcome to Woolies World. I always do this little look about when I'm saying that because you always feel a little bit silly introducing your channel for some reason. I don't know. Today I want to talk to you about the Columbia River Knife and Tool Saker. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we have here, Columbia River Knife and Tool Saker. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh no, don't get that knife, it's got shit steel, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, so this I bought, I actually got this second hand of somebody on Facebook. Uh, on the, I think it was the Irish Bushcraft and Knives page, okay? Now, when I was buying it, I was concerned about the quality of the steel. So I messaged the man who I was buying it of, and he was he was very upfront, and he said that he did have an issue with the steel, but that he had contacted Elias, is it? Elias? Yeah, okay, and he had, you know, he had said, uh, I'm worried about the steel, blah, 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 I hear it's rolling, blah, 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 and uh, your man emailed him back, and he recommended that if you change the angle of the secondary bevel on the knife, that it would take out any issues that there were with the knife. Now, he was very upcoming about this. I got it for an excellent price. I wasn't at all worried. No, that's a lie. I was a little bit worried. Uh, so anyway, I received the knife. I checked it. I did a little bit of battening with it. Uh, I made some feather sticks. It held an excellent edge. Jesus, such a good edge. And I have never had an issue with this knife. Now, of course, as soon as I got it, I put my little thumb ramp modifications on it and here as well okay and uh, I, I have no complaints with this knife at all I actually uh, it just completely replaced the the condor bush lure completely bush lure just sits up on the shelf doesn't get used uh, so you know that's and actually I haven't I haven't touched up the edge since I skinned the deer let's, let's just see how we're getting on with the edge alarms they're bald all the time, just from sharpening knives and stuff. So let me see. I don't know how I'm going to do this with the camera. I have no idea how I'm going to do this with the camera. Let me see. Maybe if I go like this. Not quite shaving straight away sharp, but it did give me a little ball patch. And considering that this has been in its sheath uh, since whatever day it was out last week, you know, I skinned the deer with it, did nothing to it, and that's it, you know. Down here, cutting up stuff with it. Good knife, guys, you know. You partner it up with a, with a fire steel, you know, bit of fat wood there, little small sharpened stone on the back, some uh, inner tube from tire. Uh, I would definitely recommend one now. I think they're hard enough to get in Ireland here and big prices as, as well, you know, touching on a hundred sterling and stuff like that. What I've seen them now, I did not pay that for it. And this is my first semi expensive knife. And even though I got it cheap and I love it, the handle is excellent. The ergonomics are amazing. You know, it just fits and I have, I have small hands, size seven, size eight hands, and it just fits perfect. Oh my god, I just broke the bloody tip off. The tip just broke off. Nah, I'm only joking. So, for me, the Columbia River Knife and Tool Saker is a lovely knife. I've no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, sits very well in the sheath. The sheath is very well made. It's got a nice little hole here to let the water out. Uh, you do have to keep an eye on it in regards to cleaning and stuff, but I, I generally don't abuse my knife, so no, no problem for me there. Um, would I buy it again if I came across one? If I came across one second hand, I think I would buy it again. I don't think I would pay the bucks for it. I think if I was going to pay the 100 odd pound for a knife, I would possi possibly ask somebody to hand make one for me. But is this worth a shot? Yes.
thumbs up for Molly. Catch you next time.